Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. I have a small haul video here to share with you about what I was able to pick up in, over the weekend, just one day, Saturday. It's not a very large haul, but since we're coming to the end of the outdoor picking season, or it's coming close, I thought I'd go ahead and just share with you what I was able to find last Saturday. What I, was, uh, what I spent on the pieces that I'll be showing you is $68. So let's just get right into it. Over here on, I've got sitting down here, this is a large, probably started out life as a cracker box. It's got old green paint on it, not cleaned up. None of these things have been worked on or touched. It needs a little work on the hinge, but it's a nice early old box that could be great for storage and in your pantries and stuff like that. On the counter right here, um, this is a called a dough scraper and these are very popular with primitive uh, people. Um, it's able to grab that one and just really happy because I'm not sure I ever had one before actually. This piece here is a very large cage needlepoint flower frog. You can see how large it is there against my hand because it's bigger than my hand. It's about a five and a half inch diameter, in fact, and you can see that it's got the needlepoint um, uh, pins, pins inside there as well as this large cage. Does not have a name though, but just huge. I just never had one this quite this large. I've had large ones, but not that large. Here's a nice little, I don't know what it was used for, a scoop or something. As you can see, it looks a little bit like a steam shovel from a dump, dumper, but um, it is hand forged and early so I'm just really not sure what that would have been used for. If you've got any ideas, let me know. <clears throat> In the back here I found a pair of oval, these are metal framed oval, just outdoor farm scenes, very bucolic scenes. They're small, just probably about a 5 by 7 size. And then, let me get that out of the way, in the back here. Now this one's going to need some touch-up work and some repairs. Uh, but it's, um, but I can make this look really shabby chic. And it's a, an oval Victorian frame. It's got this black paint. And I bought it for the frame rather than the picture because uh, my intentions are to maybe put in a, an oval piece of Italian lace in that frame. And I just think that would look really nice. And right here I found um, a lacquer pencil box, and I believe this is probably Asian. has the Asian motif on it. It's got the divided interior, and it does snap shut. And, um, yeah, that's a nice little pencil box that I found. And this tiny little mortar and pestle, just a really cute little one. And then I like to pick up things like these um, ledger books. And this one has on there that's Eureka Stores. And it's an account book with a number on it. And on the back, I thought it was interesting because it says, this book is given with the understanding that this account must be paid every payday. So I think that was really uh, neat. And it's got, you know, your very early accounting stuff in there. And then I found these little tiny pair of oval embroidery hoops all wood again against my hand you can see that they're very small so they were probably used for tating purposes and things like that and a couple little flags that you can put with toys and stuff and make them more patriotic now this piece is um, Victorian or Edwardian beaded purse it's beautiful purple beading a uh, lovely frame there. It does have a little bit of stains in the satin interior, but not a lot. I will try to shine the frame up a little bit. It's got the chain handle. It's just a really pretty purse. Now this is a unique piece. It's a 
show you the envelope. Inside of this envelope, as you can see right there, it says real hair net. In other words, it's a hair net made out of real hair. Now, the envelope's not in great shape, but again, it's um, ephemera. It's paper, and so if it survives any length of time, it's really, that's really nice. And the little hair net is inside of there and wrapped up in paper. And then this is a primitive wood jar is what I'm going to call it because it has your screw on wood lid. I've got that up there so you can see that it screws down. And it's uh, it's very old and primitive and these trim pieces really do they're really sought after by primitive people. Now this is a little book, a story book called Dottie Dimple at School and uh, she's got a cute little front there with her kitty cat and so forth. The copyright date on that is 1897. And then I got um, early beads. I use a lot of these, I mean pearls. I use a lot of these um, old pearls in things like Valentine displays and so forth. You can check my YouTube video for some of my Valentine decorations and see how I use them for those things. But I like to have them strewn about in, in my booth as well. And so I picked up three of those. And that is what I was able to find this week, this weekend, um, out treasure hunting. And I wanted to share that with you. But before I close, I'd like to direct your attention to the description of this video where you can find links to my webpage as well as my online store and other social media sites where I'm found. I'd also like to always invite you, this time as always, to visit, if you can, my Vintage Touch Antique booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. You'll find my booth on the left side, just look for the third row, and the large Vintage Touch sign that hangs in the back of my Double Space booth. And also, if you haven't already, would you please consider subscribing to my channel and liking and sharing so that we can um, encourage other people in antique collecting. And finally, let me encourage you, as I always try to do, to enjoy your antiques, enjoy collecting, enjoy learning about them. And remember that when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.